Hello folks, a uh, quick update from the frog racing shop on uh, the updates we are doing this season. So, just installed this uh, uh, cylinder four cooling kit for my AG. If you are looking for the part number, it is. Um, so basically here you have, from the factory, you have a, a freezer plug that is in there. So the hardest part is finding uh, the uh, 12 mil uh, Allen socket to uh, remove it. And then you uh, plug this thing in and what it's going to do is going to take the coolant uh, that has a hard time cooling here at the back of cylinder 4 and pipe it in the uh, heater core system so that goes to your heater core and back. And so that will add more flow and more cooling to cylinder 4, uh, which is often a problem on those engines. Um, other updates, uh, we, uh, this year we are going to be running the Kilo B headers. Um, so that the Kilo B holy header with the up pipe. So I have uh, had a bunch of questions about the, uh, uh, the wrap we use, and especially the uh, oil filter. Uh, cover we have. So I'm going to uh, turn the engine upside down to show you. So if you have an engine stand already, we recommend uh, this uh, catch pan to catch all the fluids when you are working on the engine. It's pretty cheap and very useful. Works on pretty much all engine stand. Yeah, I have it on the Harbor Freight engine stand. I have the two of them, the smaller and the bigger one. It fits both. Now looking at the uh, exhaust wrap. So here actually we have uh, two layers of uh, exhaust wrap on the inside. There is a thicker half inch, which is fiberglass with an outer layer of uh, aluminum foil. And then on the outside, there's a second layer wrap around that, uh, which is a much thinner uh, version of uh, that heat shield. You see it's a much thinner piece there, uh, mostly to, pre to protect it from splashes or when you have equal length headers, uh, like uh, this um, Kilo B header, uh, the header gets super close first to the oil pan, but also to the oil filter. And that's gonna cook the oil in the filter very quick if you don't uh, put any wrap there. You see the wrap comes very close to, to the filter. Um, there's an another piece also made uh, by uh, Heat Shield Products. Uh, that you can use on any car, even if you don't have a wrap or if you have the factory shielding. Um, it has a magnet at the bottom, and so it will just hold uh, on your filter uh, with the uh, magnet at the bottom. It's sewed in. So, so you here, it's a little bit tight with my wrap, but on a regular car, it would uh, just uh, fit right in, and then it's uh, stuck. At, and they have this uh, little thing to pull it off so that you you don't have to uh, get your hand on a eventually hot filter. So uh, this wrap has been uh, really good to as you can see here also the uh, uh, coating for uh, the oil there, the oil cooler gets super super close to the headers so if you don't wrap that um, the heat gets uh, to uh, all that oil there and uh, where you can cook your oil very quickly. Also, uh, good protection for the motor mount. So, really uh, important to do a, a good wrapping job for the wrap to last. Having that second layer of uh, thinner wrap uh, helps a lot. I'll put the uh, uh, product numbers in the description of the video for those who are interested in looking at those. All that, this come from a heat shield product. It costs quite a bit. Uh, to do the whole header with a seeker uh, one, it's about a hundred bucks of uh, wrap. The outer layer here, uh, I bought a big sheet that is about 50 bucks, but would do more than one header. And those uh, uh, wrap here uh, for just a filter cost about 60 bucks. So it's uh, definitely expensive, but in the long run, it helps a lot. To preserve the life of the engine and managing your your temperatures. The last part of keeping temp in check, of course, we have the uh, the heat shield. This one provided by Carb uh, over the turbo. But the other thing we have is this uh, turbo blanket made by Carb. 
that basically keeps the uh, hot side of the turbo uh, protected and uh, uh, give more insulation and cooling to those uh, cooling lines here. So, uh, nice addition there too, thanks to our sponsor Carb for this. Um, and they have been pretty durable. Uh, the engine has been in and out uh, many times. Uh, every time we, we remove this, um, we, they have been in pretty rough condition with uh, snow, dirt, sand. I just washed this off, but that was covered in dirt. And um, the shield has been holding up pretty, pretty good so far. So uh, really happy with the quality of these uh, PS like all cup products. So um, here it is, here are the current updates for the season.